What's going on guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with a brand new episode of Beer Views. Before we get into the video, I just want to address why I've been gone for the last two months. Uh, I've been on a little bit of a weight loss journey. I've lost 40 pounds so far, so I've been doing a lot of dieting and exercising. And as well as putting this room together a little bit better, which I did neglect for several months. I got the room painted and then I kind of just stopped doing anything, so... And I was looking back at some of my videos and I realized that the background was kind of bland and boring, so I've added some of my beer bottles and cans collection over here. And I have some just out of view over here as well. Got some canvases hung up and things like that. Nothing major, but definitely some improvements. So tonight, the video that we are going to be doing is the Miller Lite versus Coors Light blind taste test comparison. And I have two glasses right here. My girlfriend has already put the names of the beers on the bottom of each glass. So this is the Miller. So we're gonna go ahead and pour the Miller Light first. I'm also not gonna look too much at the beers that I'm pouring because if there is a slight color difference, I don't want there to be, well, I don't want to be able to know before I try them because I want to know which one do I like the best blind. So that's the Miller Lite right there. Let me make sure I put it in the right glass. Yes, this is the Miller Lite. Let's go ahead and get into the Coors Light. Loving the, can the newer cans. Says chill on them with a really cool graphic. Okay, let's go ahead and get the Coors Light poured in. Try not to look too much. And I'm going to, and by blind, what I mean is I'm not going to necessarily, I'm not going to close my eyes the whole time, but I'm definitely going to close my eyes while I, you know, mix the, mix the glasses up, but. I know they're very similar in color, but if there is a slight color difference, I don't want to see that, so that's why I'm not looking too much at the at the beers at the moment. I'm just looking to see to pour. There's a dog hair in there. Okay, so they're both poured. I'm going to let that head die down just a bit. So there's the cans. This one says days on it. Interesting. So what I'm going to do is put those over there. I'm going to start by closing my eyes and I'm going to mix the beers up as best I can. I'm going to keep talking that way. I don't, you know, remember exactly what order they're in or any of that. I don't want any indication of which beer is which because I'm honestly trying to figure out which one I do like the best. Uh, I did recently switch to Miller Lite from Coors Light after drinking Coors Light for, I think the past year, uh, Coors Light has been my go-to, you know, session beer for the weekends, but I recently switched to Miller, I'd say probably about three weeks ago, so it's going to be very interesting. So at this point, I have no idea which beer is which. Still just mixing them up. And then a couple more rotations here. And then I'll open my eyes and we will see which beer I prefer out of the two. I'm also gonna do this with, whichever beer wins this one, it's gonna go head to head with Bud Light next. And then we're gonna continue going on down the list. Okay, that's good. So, the two beers here. Weirdly, one seems to be fuller than the other. But again, I don't know which beer is which. They both have identical pieces of tape on the bottom. They just say what's different. I obviously can't see that. But here are the beers. So now we're going to taste them and see which one I like the best. Beer number one. Start with the smell test. Not a whole lot of aroma. It's kind of grainy. This one has the least amount of aroma 
of the two. Yeah, this one's definitely more grainy. Cheers, let's go ahead and get into beer number one. Crisp, clean, refreshing. It's good. Obviously, I like both beers, but let's get into this one, see what this one's like. A little bit more flavor on this beer. Weirdly, this one smells the graininess, but this one tastes more grainy than this one. Now I'm confused. Honestly, tasting them back to back that way, they kind of start to taste the same, which that's mo that's the case with most of these American adjunct lagers. They're very similar. There's only slight differences. Yikes, this one's it's a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Excuse me. Back to beer number one. This one is slightly smoother. But this one has a little bit more flavor going on. And for that reason, I'm thinking that this is the Miller Lite and this is the Coors Light. This has the least amount of aroma. This has the most aroma, but this has more flavor than this one. So let's go ahead and find out which beer they are. I'm gonna lean towards this one being the Miller, this one being the Coors, this one at the current time, I'm enjoying the flavor of this one a little bit more than this one. So let's see what I picked. This is Coors and this is Miller. Got them right. So Miller Lite moves on to the next round and it will be going head to head against Bud Light. That one will be interesting because I've said this in previous videos that I'm not the biggest fan of Bud Light. I won't turn it down, obviously. I'll drink it. It's it's fine. I just think that it's a little bit too sweet. It's it's it, I would say it's the most sweetest. It's the sweetest beer of the the big beers. The American adjunct lagers, the ones that you find at your gas station. I think that Bud Light is the sweetest. But we're gonna find out. So Miller Light moves on to the next round against Bud Light. We'll see what happens. Hope you guys tune in. Hope you guys had a great weekend. And as always, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below and I will get to them as quickly as I can. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.